You know, I think uh, from my perspective, it's the least complex way of getting participation up so it's an easy measure and an easy comparison tool. So I think that's the reason why it's been the focus for so long. Um, I, I think people have tried to use other methods, but um, I don't think anything works as simply uh, <laughs> for a comparative tool than um, just increasing recycling rates. Yeah, I'd, I'd have to agree with that. Um, I have combed through the literature to try and find empirical results of diminishing um, per capita waste generation through um, you know policies to promote buying in bulk or other types of voluntary measures and it's um, it's very hard to bring about um, on uh, waste prevention it's very hard to bring about on a voluntary level on the other hand Things like um, uh, taxes and fees, specifically on, on plastic bags, have been shown to diminish consumption of those materials. So that would be a, an alternate way um, to get uh, to get materials out of the stream going to disposal. Those are real interesting points, and I certainly agree with those. However, I feel there maybe should be more of an emphasis on the aspect of sustainability, which recycling is a part of it. And focusing on not doing something isn't important, I think, is focusing on, on doing things. We talk about diversion from the landfill, and I believe even diverting from the recycling stream by reducing waste in the first place, reducing that generation, is a very meritorious effort. It may be harder to measure. We can certainly look at put-out rates and um, waste generation rates. And I think recycling is a good thing to have some focus on, but more important than that, I even think sustainability principles, using the triple bottom line, such as people, profit, and planet, is kind of a, a, a bigger goal. We're having a little bit of a technical issue with Kate. Kate, do you want to chat your comment? Well, I, I think, you know, the um, industry as a whole has done an incredible job over the past 10 years on their lightweighting of packaging. Um, and that's mm -hmm. something that most people, you know, aren't even aware of. Uh, I think the one area where people kind of see it a little bit is like plastic water bottles, um, the disposable ones. People can kind of tell when they're empty. They uh, feel pretty flimsy. But with the exception of that, a lot of people don't even notice some of the light weighting that's occurring in, um, in the industry. So I think there's already been a lot of success uh, achieved in that area. But I think you know, there are product stewardship issues, um, targeted materials that still can be um, a focus of future efforts.